the Muslim woman. From a tiny drop that becomes an embryo, the girl child is born to be an honored part of God's plan. God states in the Muslim holy book, the Quran, O oh humankind. Be conscious of your Lord who created you from a single soul, and out of it created its mate, and out of the two spread countless men and women. Be conscious of God through whom you demand your mutual rights and honor the wounds, surely God always watches over you. Quran 4 1. The first woman. According to the Quran, there was a garden of Eden. There was a forbidden tree, with no apples, no snake, and certainly no fault on Eve alone. Both Adam and Eve sinned at the same time. They felt shame, repented, and were forgiven together. God provided them with guidance, showing them a way back to him. Quote dot dot dot. Each soul earns on its own account, and no bearer of burden shall bear the burden of another. Quran 6, 164. If any do deeds of righteousness, whether male or female, and have faith, they will enter paradise and not the least injustice will be done to them. Quran 4, 124. The sole purpose and existence of both women and men is to worship God through faith and good deeds, fulfilling their role as God's honorable trustees and witnesses on this earth. Does Islam want women to be public and political? Most certainly. Islam not only promotes, but charges women, and men, with the responsibility of using their minds for good, preventing evil as God's trustees on earth. The believing men and the believing women are protectors one of another, they enjoin good and forbid evil, they establish regular prayers, practice consistent charity, and they obey God and his messenger. On them will God pour his mercy, for God is the powerful, the wise. Quran 9, 71. Several Quranic verses chronicle female thinkers and doers, such as, Mary, the mother of Jesus, Bilquis, the queen of Sheba who ruled justly and believed in the one God, and Aziah, the Pharaoh's wife who saved Prophet Moses. History also tells of many great women such as, Aisha, the wise teacher and philosopher wife of the Prophet, who taught people daily for over 50 years, and Zubaydah, the famous builder of an aqueduct system for pilgrims. In the first Islamic state in Medina, Prophet Muhammad asked women to individually pledge loyalty, one person, one vote, to Islam and to his leadership. Women were expected then, as they are expected now, to assume their rightful role in society as equal partners. Muslim women today work for the public good as activists, artists, entrepreneurs, leaders, scholars, scientists, social workers, and teachers. Muslim women excel in all fields, not in spite of their religious convictions, but because For women and men equal. Yes, definitely. Islam teaches equality between women and men. However, in some Muslim countries and societies a patriarchal culture dominates, and women are denied the God-given rights. Nowhere does the Quran state that one gender is superior to another. God makes it clear that the only criteria for superiority are piety and righteousness, virtues only he can judge. O oh humankind, we created you from a male and female, and made you into nations and tribes so that you may come to know one another. Truly, the most honored of you in God's sight is the greatest of you in piety. God is all-knowing, all-aware. Quran 49, 13. Islam recognizes women as individuals with specific rights. Among these are, the right to life, the right to learn, the right to earn, own and dispose of property, the right to choose a husband, the right to a marriage gift, the right to retain her maiden name, the right, as a wife, to her pre-marriage standard of living, the right to seek divorce, the right to inherit, and the right to a final will. Women, like men, are rewarded by God for a righteously led life. And among his signs is that he created for you mates from among yourselves, that you may live in tranquility with them, and he hath brought between you love and mercy. Truly, in this are signs for those who reflect. Quran 30, 21. Marriage, wives and husbands. Marriage is based on mutual love and respect. The Islamic marriage is a sacred contract between a willing woman and a willing man. There can be no coercion, and each party is free to include its own terms. The bride keeps her family name and her marriage gift from the groom. A Muslim marriage is completed with public festivities reflecting culture and customs. 
Husbands and wives are protectors of each other. They are equal partners and best of friends, remaining faithful to one another. The husband provides, maintains, protects and is responsible for the family. He fulfills his duties with consultation and kindness. While the wife is not required to share her wealth and earnings, she may help her husband. Both spouses work together in the home, cooking and cleaning, and in raising good children.